You don't have to be a chef to make great food. As long as you have a passion for all that's good and great people to share it with, you're good to go. A lot of legendary cuisine was built on the foundation of love, and love is why I do this. I want to share my knowledge so that you can take it with you and make it yours. In turn, I hope that you can make good memories for the people you care about. So get out there, have fun in the kitchen, have no fear, and most importantly, live. Hello everyone and welcome to The Aimless Cook. My name is Jay. Did you like the new intro? I hope you did. I worked so hard on it. Anyways, I am in a hotel room in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And in case you didn't know where Winnipeg, Manitoba is, if you watch Fat Blue Man, he's a J vlogger. Uh, this is where he's from, actually, Winnipeg. So I'm here for a couple weeks, but rest assured, I had some uh, clips made up before I left. So today's recipe that I'm going to show you is uh, how to make your own handmade pasta. That's right, it's so easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, making your own pasta is easy. When you show your friends how skilled you are, they're going to be so impressed. So you're going to start with some flour and eggs. That's pretty much all you need. Now for the amounts, you're going to need about 100 grams of flour per serving and one egg per serving. Pretty easy to remember. So start in a mixing bowl or right on the table with that mound of flour with a well in the middle, like a volcano. Put your eggs in the middle of that well and start beating the eggs with a fork. Now as you do that, what you want to be doing is incorporating the flour from around the edges in there ever so slowly, ever so gently. Okay, now once you do that, after a while, you're, what you're going to have is you're going to have this thick batter that's going to turn into this ball of dough. And what you're going to do from there is once you have that ball of dough, you are going to start kneading it. Okay, so once you have that ball of dough, get yourself a nice floured surface and start kneading away. Now, this is going to be the hardest part. Um, you're going to knead it for at least 15 minutes until this ball of dough becomes quite smooth and elastic. And once it becomes at that state, what you're going to do is you're going to set it aside for about 15 minutes to let the glutens relax. This will make it easier to roll out later. Okay, we don't need no fancy machine. Just grab your rolling pin and let's get to work. So throw some more flour on that surface and let's get that dough working. All you gotta do is flatten it slightly and we're gonna roll it out, turn it and roll it out. Now what you're looking for when you're rolling it out is you wanna get it paper thin. You wanna get it so that you can actually see through it. And the reason for that is because, as a rule of thumb, as we're going to be cooking it, this is going to double in thickness. So make sure that you do roll it really thin. Okay, so now that your sheets are ready, all you have to do is dust with a little bit of flour again, just so that they don't stick, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them over. And we're gonna do that because it just makes them easier to cut the noodles. So what I'm doing here, as you can see, is I'm just folding it over. And then I'm just gonna grab my knife and I'm gonna hand cut these babies. So once your noodles are cut, just uh, grab them and give them a shake. And there you have it, you get a bundle of handmade noodles that'll cook in about three or four minutes in some nice boiling salted water. So there you go, now you know how to make handmade pasta. Take this recipe home with you, have fun in the kitchen, and most importantly of all, take care. Bye for now.